fluorescent uh, oyster fat. Okay. Hi, I'm Gordon Schaefer. And I'm Ellen Schaefer, and we're from Crestwood Church in Virginia. And today is the third day of our visit in Lithuania with City Church. Uh, today we started our day at the Monument to Three Crosses, which is on a hill above Vilnius, and is the site of the first martyrs, uh, where 14 Franciscan monks were uh, murdered uh, in the 14th century. And then we hopped on a bus and drove down an hour to Konis, uh, where we met this evening with uh, church leaders and members of the Kona City Church here. Uh, I would just like to uh, just share with, with you that probably the most meaningful time today, and there's been so many things throughout this, uh, this week or the last three, three days or so that just really has made a big impact in understanding uh, what God is doing here in Lithuania with the churches. But today, uh, Pastor Saul, uh, when we got to the three crosses overlooking the city of Vilnius, um, gathered us together and shared a thought and I, uh, a truth uh, that he felt deep in his heart. And then afterwards, we went and prayed um, over the city and for our own churches and whatever God laid on our heart. But the thing that he said, he says that a church's destiny is in its tears. And I would normally just kind of accept that, but having heard exactly what has happened uh, here in Lithuania and to the, to the church in the past and even today, uh, I realized just the fact that, that um, like Jesus, who's acquainted with, with sorrow, that that's where our hearts need to be. We need to, to, to feel uh, the pain of others, the sorrow and the sadness of others. And that in itself would lead us to know what God wants uh, uh, us to do. So I was really touched by the fact that you really have, we have to have an open heart and a soft heart to, to know what God's will is. Something that really made an impression on me today was this evening, uh, and it was the hearing of the desire and persistence of a small group of believers here who wanted City Church to start a church right here, not have them travel back and forth, not have them just watching online. Uh, and when Pastor Saul came and said, well, we would love to do that, thinking maybe in about a year and a half, and the response was, well, that's fine, but we're going to start meeting next week. <laughs> and what a joy that was to hear and uh, encouraging and challenging to think about a group of people who so desire to uh, know God, follow him, and be able to worship in their city uh, was really, really wonderful to hear. So it's been a wonderful time, and we just thank God for the opportunity uh, to come with the Outreach Foundation, excuse me, the Outreach Foundation, and uh, be a part of our church, knowing that we will go back and